In California, they're going to vote on the repeal of an increase in the state's gas tax. But recent polls show this proposal is going to lose. Probably the gas tax stays. Joining us now is California gubernatorial <laughs> candidate John Cox. John, welcome back to the show. Great to see you again, sir. But Great you... to be with yeah. you, Stuart. Thank what happened you. to the gas tax? What happened? I mean, do well, Californians want to pay more? The, the corrupt uh, cronies in Sacramento spent $40, $50 million. But I tell you what, Stuart, I think it's actually still got a good chance of being repealed. And I'll tell you why. These polls are involving operators who call people on their cell phones or on their landlines, and, and they read them this title. These guys are so corrupt, they drafted a title, which is the first language you see, that's so incredibly convoluted. When, when you read this thing over the phone, I think a lot of people just said, well, I don't understand that. Uh, I vote no. Hmm. But when they go into that voting booth, I think they're going to know this is the gas tax. It's gone. And the polls show that if you tell people it's the gas tax, it wins two to one. Oh, okay. So, so I, the word I think it has a good okay. chance. Now, you are sub you're way behind uh, Gavin Newsom in the gubernatorial race. I think you're 15 to 20 points behind. Do you think you got a chance? I mean, are, the, are these polls wrong? Wait, wait, maybe you should ask uh, President Hillary Clinton that question. Uh, or or maybe, maybe better to California, ask uh, Governor Tom Bradley, although he's deceased. You can't really ask him. But, you know, uh, everybody thought Mayor of Los Angeles, Tom Bradley, in 1982 was going to win. He was way ahead in the polls. And, you know, they, they coined the term the Bradley effect. And uh, I think that's what's going to happen today. Uh, I think people are going to coin this the Newsom effect. People said they're going to vote for him, but they're not going to come out. Uh, my, my, my answer to this uh, and the message is help is on the way, Stuart. Uh, people really need help in this unaffordable state. Uh, they know what San Francisco looks like. They're not going to give uh, my opponent a promotion. Uh, they want to live where they can afford a, a house or an apartment. They want to be able to afford gasoline. and. Sure. Electricity is, in is, the state is unaffordable. The gubernatorial race in California, is it a referendum on President Trump? Well, my opponents tried to turn it into that, and I think I've been giving the message that that's 2,000 miles away. What you need to focus on, ladies and gentlemen, in this state is the quality of our schools, which are now 47th. They should be number one. They will be. Uh, the waste of money on the bullet train, uh, we're going to redirect that to roads. We're also going to refund the registration fee that people paid. Uh, water rationing, people are, are, don't really realize, but California is going to have water rationing in a few years. I'm going to end that by building reservoirs and desalination plants, again, using some of that money from the bullet train. I think people want a better quality of life, Stuart. I think they don't want to get caught up in all this partisan wrangling with Washington. They want to focus on bread and butter issues and the quality of life in this great state. And mm. I think when they go into that voting booth, that's what they're going to be voting on. And I urge every Californian out there to make sure that they vote today and send a message to these corrupt guys in Sacramento that you've had enough. Okay. John Cox, it was great having you on the show for the, in recent years, and we appreciate it, and we wish you the best of luck today. Thank you, John. Thank you, Stuart. Appreciate it.